Uh, guys, this is kind of awkward. On the way home from Saskatoon, my hatted friend uh, got lost. And I was thinking that was good because now I can finally do these videos in peace, but he's a real key part of the intro. Normally there's a little bit of banter and then a punchline, but I guess I gotta do that myself, so, um... Boom! You ready? Big news. Big news. What? Oh, seriously? Uh, no pigs yet. What? Uh, what was he doing? Wow. Bring him on. Beautiful. Leafs lose 6-2 to two to the Broad Street Bullies. And this year, the Flyers are just a bizarre story to me. They came into the season looking excellent on paper, but then they're placing the standing, <laughs> but now they're just two points out of a playoff spot with three games in hand. Gotta love that Eastern Conference! But the Flyers were all over the Leafs in this one. Danny Briere had a big night. He scored his 500th point of his career. Little guy had big numbers. And the Flyers just kept racking up the points, Gustafson getting no help. There was a good defensive play by Ian White to stop a goal, but he would have had to do that like four more times for the Leafs to win. I have an idea for an ad campaign. They should get Leaf goalies to be spokespeople for laundry detergent. Being a Leaf goalie can be tough. And before I get hung out to dry, I always use Epic Fail Detergent. Uh-oh, someone got spaghetti sauce on their white tie? Introducing new... Fail to go, and those stains just rub right off. I think what I meant by all that was Gustafson needs more help. And the defense needs to worry about more quality over quantity because the shots were even 32-32. And you know what? On the flyer side, Michael Layton played a good game. Not fantastic, but the chances they're letting through, yee. The most impressive goal of the night has to go to Danny Carcillo. Now that one wasn't a joke. Carcillo's certainly not known for his goal scoring, which makes him kind of hard to shop for at Christmas time. Oh, I can't wait to see what's inside. Oh, and it's a pair of... Hockey gloves. When am I going to use these? But I would hate to be one of the Leafs watching that replay. But speaking of Carcillo, this was a rough one too, with a lot of fights. So question for you guys, what was your favorite? X will be Asham, Finger, Hartnell, Mayers, Carcillo, what? But a lot of this rough stuff stemming from Mike Richards' hit on Nikolai Kuhlman. Now I really want to know what you guys think of that, because I have mixed feelings on that hit. Because at first glance, you look at the hit, and it does look dirty. It was from behind, it was a dangerous distance away from the boards, just a really irresponsible hit. But Kuhlman, and I hate to return to one of those things that people always seem to say when a hit like this happens, didn't do a whole lot to protect himself. So, let me know what you think. But at the end of this game, on top of not being able to hold it together defensively, the Leafs couldn't generate anything. Phil Kessel has been as cold as Saskatoon, and that's cold. New Year's Eve, just 10 second nose hair freezage. And there was a new member on the first line yesterday, and I know he had a pretty decent game yesterday, almost scored his first goal of the season, but Rickard Wallin, really? The Leafs really need reinforcements if they want to get anywhere this year, but they don't really have any draft picks to trade. They don't really have anyone that anyone wants. So, uh, I guess you're stuck. It wasn't all doom and gloom for the Leafs. In a game where Toronto got stomped 6-2, to two, Stajan, Kuhlman, and Ponikarovsky all had a plus two. And Stajan with another two assists last night, I don't know about you guys, but he's making a bit of a believer out of me. So let me ask you this. Just humor me for a little bit and picture this. It's three years down the road. Let's pretend the Leafs are fifth in the Eastern Conference heading into the playoffs. Is Matt Stajan on that team? Well, that's it for this game, guys. Hopefully the Leafs can bounce back with a win against, uh, who is it? A Buffalo! Why? So give me a text or video response on Stajan, all the fights, or the Richards hit. Add me to Leafs Space Facebook and Twitter, and I'll just see you next time. Maybe with my hat friend.